Hey, what's going on everybody? I know it's been a while since my last video, but today I just wanna go over some easy color correcting techniques that you could use with the new GoPro Studio 2.0. So right off the bat, I wanna say, if you wanna do color correcting using Studio 2.0, then I would just say, film all of your shots using your GoPro with ProTune enabled. The reason why I say that is because ProTune captures more information and once you go to do color correcting you could pretty much do anything you want with it and studio 2.0 is so awesome they have a pro tune filter and you could just slap that on right on the video and it'll just make that pro tune filter right on the fly like there's no rendering or anything and you could just see it looks pretty awesome when i was there that day filming it i'm pretty sure it looked just like that um, it does a really good job at uh guessing what should be bright what should be dark and just the greens look pretty good the uh the water looks really nice here there's not much you have to do manually it's just pop it on and it does it for you as i said previously you also get the uh the ability to manually adjust the colors yourself using the exposure the contrast the saturation uh, so you can make it look exactly how you want it to look but if you want that easy color correcting then you don't you just put that pro tune filter on and then you got a pretty decent looking pretty decent looking shot i would say and it's quick there's it's not time consuming at all i was going through some of the other filters and then i found this day for night shot if you want to do uh like a shoot during the day and make it look like it's nighttime it doesn't look that good but i mean if you want to do like a horror scene or something using the gopro i mean that looks pretty crazy if you're doing like a horror scene uh, and there's also other ones. You got night vision, which is okay, I guess. And then you could just go back to normal and do whatever you want. Now, don't think this is just limited to videos. You can also do pictures. You don't have Photoshop, then use GoPro Studio 2.0 and just adjust your image, uh, your image colors, your exposure and whatnot. Same way we're doing with the, uh, the video. You could also just add filters on there, kind of like Instagram. You got different ones. You got ProTune and just figure out which one is good for you. And here's a quick little video I put together with the ProTune filter enabled, and I also used a warp stabilizer built into Adobe Premiere CS6.